in his third year he secured this rank in his first attempt how you did that in like 3.5 months and all these subjects within that time of 3 4 months that people just ignored one subject fully and still got the higher rank why did you choose isc or iit bombay like, don't lose the hope you will get the good score you will get good admission in life. i wanted to like uh, do my masters in one of the best college in of india Hey everyone today we have Yash with us he has secured all india rank 19 in gate 2022 while he was in his third year he secured this rank in his first attempt also his case is special because he completed his syllabus in uh, 3.5 months i guess mm. and so hi yash uh, would you like to give a quick introduction about yourself mm, yeah sure so hi everyone i am yash patel i am from gujarat i have done my schooling in around my city only and uh, i have done my B.Tech in Computer Science from Pandit Dinayal Energy University, and while I was in my third year, I have ad, um, attempted GET and uh, I have secured All India Rank 19 there, and then I have done my Masters in Computer Science from Indian Institute of Science, and right now I am working as ML Scientist in NICA. All right, so uh, let us start with like what was your motivation for the GET exam? Like why you? Uh... went for the gate exam and not for the placements mm, yeah so like when i was in my second year of btech so back then i did not have much idea about like what career i'll have in computer science or like uh, whether i'm interested in like web development or sd like i did not have any clear idea about any paths that computer science has so like i had one guide which was like mentor to me he uh, suggested that uh, you can also prepare gate with uh, your like uh, subjects and then you can just try for masters also then you if you want to do like specialization in any area like the machine learning or systems then you can uh, prefer gate so back then i have started preparation in around like january 2021 and uh, so yeah in third year i have attempted gate okay so you started your preparation in january and 2021 yeah yeah so can you just like brief on that like for how many months it took you to complete the syllabus and then what you did after that uh yeah so like uh, around mid january i have started watching like recorded lectures for the gate and uh, like till the april i have finished that all the recording versions and then like i have uh, purchased one course so in from that like i have just referred like the course i have referred was little old so i have like uh, seen that the, if there are any syllabus changes or any topics that are introduced new so that i have like uh, again revised some of the courses from the uh, subscriptions and then i have started working on like topic based subject based mock test so yeah and i have done like solves pyq for like around four to five times then revisions so Okay, so after completing the syllabus, you focused uh, more on the practice set. Uh, yeah, practice set and revisions. Yeah, one more thing. Like uh, generally, it took around eight to twelve months to complete the gate CSE syllabus. Uh, yeah. So, like in your case, how you did that in like three point five months? Uh, yeah. So, like back then, it was also like COVID time, so we yeah. did not have colleges like much work on the college side. so like i was spending my whole day like around 8 to 9 hours in just completing syllabus only so yeah and i had not take any breaks between then so i was like able to complete almost all every lectures like i have not seen the aptitude in that time because like i knew the aptitude syllabus and i know like how to solve so so yeah so uh, except aptitude i have done all the subjects within that time of 3 4 months So as you said, like uh, you were like very consistent throughout the preparation, and you mm, didn't yeah. take any break. So, like, what was your motivation for that? And like, it generally doesn't happen that like we are very consistent in throughout the preparation. Mm, yeah, but like, uh, uh, I also exactly don't know what is the motivation. <laughs> so, but I wanted to like uh, do my masters in one of the best college in of India. So yeah, and like. Uh, i have decided that whatever i will do like i'll take this as a last attempt uh, i was in the third year but i have considered it as a last attempt that like uh, i'll try this one year and if i'll able to do then i will uh, do masters so yeah uh, i have completed that syllabus mostly like uh, my main motivation was this only that in like most of the btech colleges we go through like tier 3 colleges our placements are around like uh, we know the 
thing figure so about and i knew that that in if i do masters from any good college like top 7 iits or iisc then i will get like good placement so yeah basically like good placement was my main goal back then also okay so like uh, you attempted get in your third year and yeah. got the rank so didn't you thought like uh, i you also had one more year so you will just see that like in fourth year you will be dedicated in the fourth year why i start now uh yeah so like in second year when i had started i did not know what else i need to do so then i had started and i have finished syllabus so early and then like revise so many times so i know that like uh, this year is enough maybe <laughs> like after that i can focus on my like coding skills and also yeah so actually i also started like almost at the same time and i was also targeting in the third year so we started preparing together but uh, like yeah. we got rank in third year it took me one more year to got yeah. the rank like i saw your name <laughs> on the rank board and uh, yeah we have yeah. chatted on and that's telegram how we i got think. to know each other yeah. okay so let's uh, get back to the uh, resources part so what resources you are used like you were telling about some lectures you, uh, you have yeah. seen like yeah Yeah. So like uh, I have seen Ravindra Babu Rao's old like recorded mm-hmm. lectures. So I have completed that series like all the subjects from that except aptitude. And after that like I have took an academy subscription plus subscription uh, and from that like I have completed all the uh, like uh, courses also like to again revise. And then like I have took the test series from Made Easy and an academy I had. So I have like given the mock test, subject test, topic test from that series. So yeah. Okay, so like uh, around when you started the test series and how many test series you have attempted? So I think from June I have started like topic test. Around September I have started like subject test, multi subject test. Like uh, because I had enough time, like I have done everything like uh, with proper timelines. And from first December I think I have started mock test and around uh, I have given like forty mock test. So both like uh, completing made easy and an academy. So yeah. Okay, so since you had a uh, lot of time after completing the syllabus for the mock test, test series, yeah. etc., but if someone who is uh, like just starting the preparation, they had only like four months, three months, or four months, so like if they can also complete the syllabus in three point five months, can you suggest them like, uh, uh, like if they have less time, so how much they should focus on the test series and syllabus? Mm, yeah, so like if you are left with only one month, let's say, and if you are still need to complete two or three subjects. then i don't suggest that you should focus fully on two three subjects instead you should just revise whatever uh, ha- you have done and practice on that so like it's always like two three subject will not have like let's say 20 marks 30 marks but other syllabus has the 70 marks so you can get score of that so yeah like i have seen cases where people just ignore one subject fully and still got the higher rank because like they, whatever they have done they have done properly so i think revision is the key and mostly like you should attempt the mock tests then only you can realize like what are uh, your mistakes like what, um, where are the parts where you are failing you don't know like how to solve the questions so i think it's very important to solve pyqs and give takes okay and uh, what about your marks in the mock test so from the starting mm. only you were getting good marks or like you improved somehow mm. yeah so like uh, my average marks was between like i always uh, scored between 60 to 80 mostly like i have never i think scored in 90s but yeah like 60 to 80 was an on an average score and i guess like same similar you got in the actual gate exam because gate 2022 was like, uh, like very tough yeah so yeah. i got like 68.33 marks okay right so uh, okay so now let's uh, go to the results uh, part yeah so <laughs> like were you expecting this rank in third year <laughs> uh no like when i have given the paper and uh, i have came out like of exam hall yeah, i have you just, messaged uh, me that it went <laughs> it didn't yeah, went good i think at that uh, day we have done yeah, that so, i yeah, said uh, my exam was not good you were also saying my exam was also not good <laughs> yeah so like i was not expecting like uh, i thought like my paper went too bad like uh-huh. uh, i was expecting around like 55 marks like i ha- i know that on some questions i have spent too much time and did not figure out the actual answers so i realized that i have like given i think wasted some time on questions but uh, yeah i like then the answer key came from various resources and uh, various um, of course sources resources 
uh, then answer key comes from variant resources and then like when i have calculated i got like around uh, 65 to 67 marks and then answer key changes so yeah in 2022 <laughs> it was a tough case right. yeah okay so uh, like what were your reactions when you got to know you were getting this rank and like mm. uh, like how was your family feeling yeah so like on the result they like uh, uh, on the exact date, they have not released the result. So I was waiting till like 11 at night mm. and then I have slept and around I think 2 a.m. someone messaged me that uh, results are out and you got this rank. I don't know how they got <laughs> this new rank, but yeah. Then like, uh, yeah, from 2 to 5, I watched a movie because I was like uh, at 2 a.m. I want, don't want to disturb my family. So yeah, and then I have called around 6 a.m. Like I was in my hostel. Okay. So around six, like I have called at my home, and then yeah, they were very happy. <laughs> right. Yeah. So and also like uh, since you cleared gate in third year and got such an amazing rank, huh. then after your third year you had like almost around one and a half year, mm. right, in your BTEC huh. or maybe one year. One year. So how was that life? Like you, you must be very chill. Okay, I got the rank now. I will go to uh, IITIC. So life seems to be sorted. So how was your? Experience? Yeah, like. Uh, after like get results our colleges also started like in physical mode so like in seventh semester i have mostly like done nothing about the <laughs> academics mostly and then in eighth semester like i have focused on like dsa so Go as i on. i knew that like now we are going to uh, one of the best colleges so we need to prepare so okay. for that like i have done dsa at that time okay nice so you got the time for doing all those uh, mm, coding and yeah. everything Okay, so this is also one of the advantages if you clear gate in third year. Yeah. Right. Okay, so now <laughs> a very like kind of most asked question: Why did you choose ISC or IIT Bombay? Uh, that decision is uh, <laughs> uh, it's like uh, it it was very tough decision. Of course, like we have uh, had talked. <laughs> So let me just tell you, like uh, we were almost sure about IIT Bombay. He got rank in third year, so he was like very sure for next one year that he will go to IIT Bombay. He tells everyone, "I will go to IIT Bombay," and I was also sure after getting the rank, I am going to IIT Bombay. Then we just don't know what just happened. We both came to IIC just one day uh, before freezing the colleges. He was saying that he is going to IIT Bombay. <laughs> And the next day he messaged me that I freezed IIC. Yeah, so I was very confused, but uh, yeah, I think <laughs> now it's all worked out. Maybe. Yeah. So can you just list out few things like why did you choose an IIC? Mm, yeah. So first, like college environment here, like in IIC, is much better than uh, of course. Like uh, I have heard that uh, in IIC. M Tech people get the single rooms, and in B Tech you uh, in like IIT Bombay you need to share. You rooms. want to tell you got but, single rooms? Uh, yeah. So <laughs> after that, like for the one year, I have shared uh, room. We have shared like room three guys. So and of course, so <laughs> <laughs> till it's not the case now. Like that time, like uh, new hostels were like getting constructed. Yeah, so yeah. So so I did get the hostel, but it was far <laughs> from the campus. So. I stayed with my friends only, so yeah. Yeah, so three people in a single room. They yeah. stayed for one year. <laughs> okay, so like, how was your life at ISC? Like the two years at ISC, how was your experience? Like in terms of academics, in terms of other things also. Yeah, like in ISC, I think it's great experience. Of course, I have seen like many ups and downs, many downs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think uh, after this two years. Everything went well, I think, maybe. Uh, in ISC, it was great. Like, I had many experiences which I never had in my life. Like, I have made good friends. Yeah. And I have enjoyed so much in my life, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> right. Initially, the first and second semester so were somewhat, like, on the downside. But uh, then, yeah, then... we both know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will like, semester, uh, yes. talk about all these things in some separate video. So, yeah. yeah, do you have any regrets like choosing ISC or IIT Bombay or like choosing Gate? Mm, uh, like... No, I think no, not right now. Yeah, so you are completely satisfied, yeah. right? Okay, so uh, like that's it for this video. If you want to add something or if you want to give any tips at the end, so of course, so all the aspirants who are preparing, like, don't lose the hope. You will get the good score. You will get good admission in like. Uh, 
any good colleges so of course good like continue your preparation and uh, yeah that's all from my side okay so thank you everyone and thank you yash yeah thank you. thank you thank you